Welcome back guys to Our Boy, where last episode we finally collected all the Buccaneer coins after so much searching and got our final reward, a cloak that allows us to speed around and dodge really well. As we then set out on the final bit of the story, blasting off into space as we chase down Solus and find out what's really going on. Oh. Oh. Killing machines? What the hell are these? It's like something to start them going as well. Oh, it'll naturally go down, of course, when it's added my weight on it. Whoa! Now, I don't like my platforms when they fall off. Oh, that's going up. Maybe I want to go up. Oh, but I don't want to go that far up. I thought up wouldn't be too bad. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Uh oh, I missed now. What? What? Off you go then. Wait, was I supposed to go up there? Looks like a long flight here. Oh god. Oh, what the hell? We're going up. Oh, what's the right? Anything to the right? Oh, there is! Okay. Which way am I supposed to go? Left or right? Oh, no! Well, that sucked. It started my flight because I pressed up. Can you land, please? I think I've got to go left, but I, I don't know which way to go, left or right. I mean, right looks too tempting. Equally, there's spiky places to the left there. Oh, I don't want to get checkpointed to somewhere. That's the problem. Ugh, barely made that one. Is this the right way? Oh! But how do I put it in? I'm up here now. I see you. Did my machines and theories break the loop at last? Did I break the world? With this token, you hold the key. The sanctuary beckons you. Give me the answers I, Nocte of the Owls, have always sought. Right, we got another one, but I can't get down and put it in anywhere. Well, actually, wait a second. I can get down when I think about it. All I have to do is fall. I'm an L. Once I reach the right point, I can fly normally. Right? I guess the main problem there is terminal velocity, but still. Okay, one of these is going to go upwards, right? They're both going to go upwards. One of them is heading towards spikes, but one of them is heading towards spikes a lot slower than the other one. Uh oh. Yeah, I want to go lower, please. Thank you. Okay, cool. Which part of this is going to become a chunk that floats off? Ah! Uh, you know it's going to happen, but you just don't know when. Because it just keeps going. Where am I now? Oh man, what are we rising to? I think I can see the top of the tower above us. 
If we stay on this platform, we could still make it to where Solus is hidden. Okay. We're staying here then. Uh, uh. Whoa! I feel like I should move platform then. Do you know what? I literally didn't move because they didn't move. So I was like, I should stay with my team. <laughs> I should stay with my team because that... No, okay. Obviously not. Thank you, guys. I thought you'd have some self-preservation. Whoa! Yeah, bye. I guess you can just tell a plop off, to be honest. Oh, I was about to say how long till it breaks. <laughs> You're... I, just... I don't know what's going on. How did you get up here? Try to hold on? Yeah, sure. Next one's got to be far to the right, considering that one was on the left. Stay afloat, Otis! I'm trying! We just need to hang on! Oh my god, this is going to unleash monsters next! Okay, they seem to be flying away. Oh, this is all the way over there! Uh, that platform's going down first. Uh, shaky bits. Alright guys, what's happening? I don't know! Ah! It's okay, I'm, I'm slightly flying. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, we don't want to hit the rocks, okay? The platforms are bad now. It's fine, we can't get hit right. <laughs> You can't even see where I am on the screen, apart from the white dash. Oh, they, they, they asteroided. Okay. I bet they don't like being constantly summoned up here. I can't believe it. I believe we are witnessing the end of the world, my friends. We ourselves are floating. The floating continents are rising into space. This is the end. It's happening so suddenly. What has Solus done up there? Yeah. Whatever Solus is doing up there, we have to stop him. I see his tower above us. Let's go. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll just fly. Uh. Why did he launch his attack when I went and changed to him? That's interesting. Okay. We're now in the Death Star. Oh. Hi. Are you looking at me? Oh no. It's our brain. It might be actually. Where are you going? Uh, I go up there then, sure. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm not going up there. Left. So the game suddenly becomes sci-fi. Okay. Nope, oh, that's fruit. I'll take that. <laughs> okay, that bugged out too. That was interesting. Ah, Solace. Uh, huh? How did you get up here? Never mind that, Solace. Quickly, we have to. No. I t told you already. I'm not interested in what you ha have to say. But I'm using the relics. Th that's all. I'm nearly finished here. Please don't get in my way. Of course I'm going to get in your way. 
told you, don't disturb me. I'm in a critical stage in the process. I guess you just straight want me to attack you then. Yeah. What are you doing? Have you gone mad? Ex at least explain what's going on to us rather than just doing a mysterious ritual where we don't know where anything's happening or why or what, you know. Snap out of it, Solace. The relics are too dangerous. Have you forgotten what happened in Advent? N no one can use them, ever. We have to destroy them. You have to see sense, Solace. We will help you avoid the pirate's retribution, but please stop this. Using the rights for power will only make things worse. That's right. We'll stop you if we have to. I don't have time for this. I've been telling you guys to leave me alone. I gave you lots of chances, but it's clear that you guys don't understand. So I guess I just have to make you leave. Oh, okay then. I'm just shooting at him because... Whoa, hello. Shooting at him seems to be right, the right thing to do. That's a bomb. Whoa, I was just hoping to do some good damage there. Oh, man. I can just dodge through it, yeah? Oh, I can only do damage to this one with you. What? You're not even a damage dealer? That makes no sense. Okay. What's going on? There seems to be actually some kind of strategy to this that... Might involve using every player. Man, that super dodge is really good now. So look, when I've done that, and that that's the red one? So they colour coordinated by my character's colours, okay. Really, we wanna do this, don't we? That's the best way to get damage on the Solace. Ow! Okay, now what are you doing? How can you keep just... Oh! Going in... Now we just shoot you normally. Woo! Okay. Whoa, I can bounce them back? I'm just gonna dodge through. That's so cool! Gallon Tennis Ultra version! It seems like I can damage him with pretty much everyone as well. Right, he's dropped the bomb. I missed! That was a terrible shot. Missed again! But I webbed him. And I think he's down. Head first. Not the way to fall. Ugh. No! I... I can't move! Now you listen to us. Stop this power crazy stuff. Using the relics is gonna get people hurt. No, you're wrong. I'm trying to help. Using the relics? Don't you remember Advent? Those things are weapons. No. 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 That's not what the relics were made for. That's just how Molstrom used them. Please explain, Solus. I didn't want to tell you this, but I need you to understand. I'm going to tell you of the great shame of the owls. The hex and the anti-hex. 
Relics were created long ago when the owls lived at the planet's surface and the floating islands did not exist. Owl technology was beyond our imagination and the owls studied the deepest secrets of the universe. The relics were made after the owls made a fateful discovery. A discovery that sent owl society into infighting and chaos. The loop. What is the loop? I'm not certain, but the owls were obsessed with it. They worked for centuries in a desperate struggle to find a way to end the loop. Finally, they found a solution. A hex that would alter the laws of nature to end the loop forever. The relics were designed to be the fuel for the hex. Centuries after they were made, the owls were finally ready for their hex. So what happened? Did the hex work? It was the biggest disaster in the history of the planet. I didn't even know if the hex broke the loop. That should have been the least of their worries. The hex backfired, shattering the planet's continents into floating islands in the sky. The planet was reduced to a giant, empty ocean. And the islands are still rising. You must have seen it outside. The world is ending. Time is running out. In a matter of days, we'll all have risen to cold, unbreathable space. But... The anti-hex! You mentioned something about an anti-hex? This library was built to find a way to bring the planet's expansion under control and reverse it. When I found it, I learned that the owls created relics, which had been absorbing power for centuries. Now they are ready to be used for the anti-hex, which will bring the islands back down to the ocean. That is what I'm preparing. An anti-hex to save the world. Man, you should have told us, Solus. Why did you try to do this all on your own? I... I didn't. I got the pirates to help me by promising them power. Tricking the pirates led to the destruction of Advent, Solus. I just... I didn't know of anyone who I could trust. Let us help you finish this anti-hex. Come on, Solus. What do we have to do? I... I... You, you just have to... Oh no! Is that... Owl boy, you traitor! I'm coming for you! Oh! Oh man, oh man! The captain is here! Look outside! The world is... It's all coming apart! You will run off with my heroic soul, boy! You're to betray me! I... I haven't betrayed you, Monstrum! I'm trying to save you, and everyone else. I'm trying to prevent the planet from being destroyed. You can't just one-shot me. No. Otis, are you all right? No. Sure, saving the world, is that it? Why would I care if the planet is destroyed? Give the relics back to me now. But please, I can't. Uh, Otis, take this! What happened? Is Master Otis breathing? Yes! Good. Get him out of here. I'll keep the captain at bay. Hurry, Master Getty! Twig! I can't hold him for long! Uh, uh, we have to get Otis up. Uh. Hurry up and get away, Otis. We'll hold him back. Twig, follow me. 
Hurry over this. Hold us. We can't run away. Please, I can't move. You have to complete the anti-hex. Repair the totem. Hopefully that will be enough. But I'd rather run towards him than help my buddies. But it seems like the thing to do is to run. Ah! Get back on him, guys! I can't go faster! Well, now I can move. But I feel like I should help. Wait a second, I can't fly or anything. Oh, okay, I get ya. But can I jump? I'm down again. I wish to stop knocking me away. This is taking my health too. Okay, there's a time limit. Lovely, thank you. I didn't know that was the totem. Do you know what I actually thought was the totem, by the way? I thought the totem was the thing down in Veli. <laughs> The thing that was destroyed by the relic was stopped. I was gonna go die for we were gonna jump off. <laughs> right, now I know what I'm doing! Well, I don't know where I got that idea from. But I did! If only I could crawl faster! If there was some kind of button I could use! I didn't realise it meant this totem. Maybe I needed to jump exactly the right time. Yes, power me up and all. That's great. But I need to go faster. Get up me. There's the totem done. Now what are you going to do, Maelstrom? Because that's going to take Otis' final HP, isn't it? Otis, get out of there! I'm trying my best! I can't go down. I can't go down. Anti-Hex! It's emerging from his body! But is he... Hmm. This is what your treachery is about. You think this is enough to stop me? <laughs> I'll crush this little hex of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Someone help Otis! Where am I now? Well, I may not be Owl Boy. Maybe I'm now Soul Boy. <laughs> Uh, hello? Hodus, how has school been lately? I hear Asya might take you under his wing soon. You're so lucky, Hodus. Everyone likes me? Hi, little Hodus. Wanna drop by my place sometime with Fib and Bonacci? Or we'll play drums till the sun sets. Hi there, young'un. Wanna join me in the hot spring? No? You're hard work, Rodus. Just like the other owls. Oh, I mean, that's the hot spring, but it's dark, so I didn't even realize. Anything else along this way? 
Can I go in? No? Horus, do say hi to Little Shun Scops for me. I hear you'll be studying on Darcio soon. He handpicked you, I heard, and I'm glad he did. I think you two will be a great fit. So where are we going? This tree is our destination? Upwards. There's platforms at the side too, but it looks like I just want to land here maybe? Or what? No, I want to go right. Otis, I'm glad you're doing well. Y you don't recognize me. It's me, Solus. Listen, um... I don't know if you think of me as a friend, but I always thought of you as m my only friend. I hope the next time we meet, it'll be under different circumstances. There's so, so much I want to tell you. The graveyard now? That's Asio then. Welcome, Motus. I'm very glad to see you again. You're probably wondering where you are. You're not dreaming. You're seeing visions of the past and the future. And from today, you may not remember any of it, but it is real. You grew up with good people, Otis. Full of affection for you and hopes for your future. And regret for things said and done. These visions are a gift to you. The truth, I think, is often the greatest gift. Especially since people are so prone to forgetting the things they should cherish most. You must have many questions. Come, sit down. Is everyone going to be okay? Getty, Alphonse, Twig, and all the rest? Yes, Otis. You succeeded out there. The fact that you're here means that the anti worked. What will happen now? The islands will be sinking. Your generation will know the surface, as we did. Thanks to you, the world will be whole once again. It will be difficult to adjust to life on the surface after all this time. But it will be overcome. I hope you don't blame us for what we put you through. We tried to change the universe, and we paid a price for that. You paid that price too. In order to end the loop, we were willing to do anything. Even risk our future. Your present. I'm not sure I understand. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is that we wanted to discover the nature of the universe, and in doing so, we lost ourselves. Maybe one day, in this life or the next, you will learn about the loop. But there are far more rewarding things to learn about the universe than how it ends. You're probably worried that this is the end for you. But don't worry. In this world we've created, there is always a second chance. Our time is up. And I know I'm not the only one, but... I've always believed in you, Otis. I don't know if pressing a button will help me wake up! I've tried! We're plummeting! As the lands plummet too. And the credits roll. Of course, we're obviously not going to find out what might have happened until the credits pass. But that, by the look of it, is the game. And then credits. It was a bit rough during the exploration times, but we got through it. But it was a crazy game with many, like, acts to it. It's not a long game, but not every game has to be long. Does it, really? I feel like, generally, Metroidvania-wise, that 10-hour-ish marker is... is quite sweet. Especially because, you know, like, world records for these games are always, like, one hour or sub one hour. You can finish them blooming fast. There's a lot of crazy to the game, crazy to the world. And I can understand why it was 
but I'd heard it in the review circle as it were. It's very well acclaimed. Let's put it that way. It was a game that their developers took years to make. I don't know how many developers there actually were on it. But they crafted it with love, you can pretty much tell that. This was great, thanks for playing it, no problem. Hopefully we'll inspire some of you to play it as well. But now I want to know what's going on. And who's translating universally speaking? Special thanks to a fair few people. There was a voice of Molstrom in there as well. <laughs> I suppose it was a real hoot. I'll be telling all my friends about Owlers, the Houdini of Elf. <laughs> the puns! And in a memory of as well. But as the credits end, what will we see? One shooting star. The question for me is, even if Otis didn't make it, did the others? They had to plummet from the Mesosphere. <laughs> That's pretty high up. And so the game starts again. You don't get conclusions as to the characters? What? You don't know if anyone made it? Alright, so if I press continue now, we're back at the study, it seems. Maybe we can find something. Maybe we can put in a coin if we've got the coin now that we picked up on top, but we couldn't possibly make it to the bottom. The unknown. Okay, what's this? So we start next to the boss. Memories of Veli flood back to you. Remain in the present or return to Veli. So this is before the end of the game. Where we have the coin in our possession. So if I can try to remember where that thing is again, let's go and see if we can give it in. The problem for me is remembering where it was, so this might take me a little bit more time than I'd expect. I think it was over here on the right, wasn't it? No, 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 not, not, the, not the Bogwins! Get away from me, Bogwins. Wrong place. It's through here, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, so let's put this in. Okay. Now I'm putting that one in. That door is finally opened. Let's dash through the greatest speed I can. That's the wrong place. That's the right place. So what's through here? A whole nother chamber. Mysterious in nature. I'm guessing it's an owl-like ruin. It seems to have multiple floors to it. It's a bit bigger than you'd expect. Is it some kind of final dungeon or not? Well, there's something. Hello. Welcome, friend. I'm Cernia of the House of Preservation and Diplomacy. What you see before you is my life's work. The Eternal Sanctuary. A place to record the thoughts of our leaders and artisans. The brightest owls to ever have lived, they say. I hope that the knowledge enshrined here may aid you. 
and that you will share the wisdom of the owls with all who care to listen. So we found a repository of knowledge. Essentially, the lore hidden behind completing the game and getting all the stuff. Times are changing, it would seem. Aegolus and Nocte, they show an incredible pair. The temple guardians they made, terrifying as they are, have kept the temples completely safe. And now Aegolus tells me that Nocte is thought of a way to make thinking machines. Aegolus? A hmm. Pronunciation of that name. It says you will put them into production soon. My role as a combat instructor may eventually no longer be needed. No wonder those two are never seen apart. Who else can truly relate to such brilliant minds? Of the house of travel. For these inventions. Is it not the duty to roam the skies? Let us free and healthy and cherished. Descendants find their own purpose. So some of these are broken as well. Let's say which ways can I go? Can I open up pathways? Seems that some of this has been pretty much destroyed. I think Nocte is on to the discovery of a lifetime. He's been locked up in his lab for ages and speaks only in whispers about it. Nocte is almost too brilliant. Even Aegilus can barely keep up with his thinking. The automatons they've created have been revolutionary. If Nocte believes his next discovery will be even greater, I can't even imagine what it will be. I don't know if we'll find any secret locations still, but that's a bit hidden away. We have incredible Nocte! This loop for lead of farming. Support him. His debt. Okay. It's all talking about this Nocte. Whoa, it's Asio! Oh no, wait. He just looks like him. So this was Nocte's great discovery. The loop. I am disappointed that most of the owls take this seriously. No matter what he says, such a thing cannot be proven. Of course, Aegilus has taken Nocte's side as he always does. Inseparable, those two. Even in failure. It goes over my head, he says. I suppose nothing can go over Aegilus' head with, with how big it got after he made the automatons. The leeching off of Nocte's brilliance has made him quite the reputation. If he didn't have Nocte beside him, he would have been no one at all. I will not be talked down to by a self-aggrandizing buffoon. So I think we can kind of postulate what the loop might be at this point. It was a weird word to put it in. But a cycle of death and reincarnation we got going, Ayo? That's a nasty little chamber. Are you going to let me through? Hello. This is Aegilus. Nocte. It's gone. One of my automatons went amok. I had it destroyed, but now I've lost my only friend and the genius behind the hex machine. It's too complicated. Nocte's schematics for the hex machine and his theorems on the loop. My own machine is only a pale imitation. This is the best I've been able to come up with. I redid the calculations. The chances of catastrophic failure of the hex machine are enormous. If it fails, the plant will never look the same again. Countless lives lost and more lives ruined. 50-50. Those are the odds of success and failure. 50-50. And yet if I don't complete this task, not his life work, and my soul will die along with him. I've decided to lie to the other owls. I will not tell them of the danger. The hex machine will be built. The loop will be broken. You, my descendant, you will be my backup plan. I will guide one with my crest to this place to listen to these words. Do not be alarmed. That is within my ability. Take the clues I left behind here and follow them. I only ask... I only ask that you tell no one. No one must know that I, weakest among the owls and the disgrace of our kind, risk the doom of our world. People must be able to trust each other, even in a world with monsters like me. Good luck. And Nocte, I'm sorry. 
Well, that's an interesting chamber. I feel like I should keep going through it, but it's actually going to take us out the other side. Let's check more of what's down here. There's nothing to talk to here. There's no way through there apart from there, so that was the designated route to take. So where can I go here from here, you say? Well, through there by the look of it. And also this bit would have leapt, went through to there anyway. Oh look, chests that have been basically taken. I'm just wondering, does this bring me out the other way? I'm confused. It's better not look behind me. So yeah, I went up first, yeah? Yes. So that's the loop there. But there's still more to check out. So basically, someone got here first. Or more to the point, Solace got here first. Right, combination y locky thing. I guess I gotta watch out for that, haven't I? I don't wanna hit two at once, that's for sure. Oh, okay. It's one of those puzzles. Each one activates a different one at the same time. So you're one on your own. Okay. Okay, this one activates on its own anyway, so we're fine now. Well, I don't want to bash into it, that's for sure. I just wanted to dodge through, man. What's through here, then? Even darker corridors, that's for sure. Nowhere to go that way. Obviously, it's leading down into that chamber there. And this is the final one. I am Nocte. Sonia convinced me to leave a message behind. I don't think even Aegilis knows, but I'm unsure what to say. Mathematics and philosophy are my callings, and the calling of my house. I never was one for talking unless someone could pull the words out of me. Mathematics never lies. It makes predictions. If you master mathematics sufficiently, you will find that you can make extraordinary predictions. The trajectory of a rock, the orbits of the stars. I learned those as a boy. Now as my master's better, the predictions I make are somewhat different. I predicted my own death to one of Aegidius' machines. Not once, but again, and again, in infinity. No matter how I adjusted the parameters, I saw my own death there as an eternal wave function, over and over. And applied correctly, I could see every death, every life. Even a young owl named Otus, who dies in a great battle above a floating city. And yet, Otus, my maths tells me that you will be at this hologram. A strange inconsistency. Oh yeah, it would be. Perhaps our hex machine worked after all. Tomorrow is the day that I die, Otis. It is my hope that by doing so, my prediction will come true. So that I will see you here today. And perhaps in the next loop, I will not have to die after all. Maybe then, I could spare Aegilius some grief. Well, that was interesting. Can you... Does it just tell you the message again, or is there more? It's just the same thing again. So for a strange inconsistency, I get to see this. So this is like the law of everything. So basically, it's the cycle of reincarnation, and he was so good at math, and just reading the world, and science, and all that, that he could actually tell the future of his self-reincarnation dying to this robot over and over and over and over and... Well, that's the thing, isn't it? That really is the thing. And so I think... 
that's a good place to leave it. Now that we've got these coins, checked out everything, I'm going to leave this through the main entrance to see if anything happens. But obviously, Solos discovered the ruins. He checked all this, took these, left, back via which he came, not this way. And then went on his mission, more or less. Solus is IGless, right? So, he basically did himself. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's who, in that sense. Definitely, if you know what I mean. What a weird way to play. What a weird kind of bit of lore. The cycle is broken anyway. The loop is done. The world has returned to rights. But Otis does die. As of that point. Hopefully that does mean the others got away safely. But sometimes a hero has to give his all. Has to give his life. There probably are a few more tiny secrets. Bits and pieces around the game. Like for example. That last little bit over there. But for now. I think we'll stop. So thank you for watching. This has been Our Boy. I hope you enjoyed the game. And I hope you liked what you saw. Thank you. And I'll see you guys around for more. Bye-bye.